you. I am ASMR Weetle and I hope today's video can make you feel calm, relaxed and good and feel that ancient healing cosmic magic light of healing magic energy help you and guide you onwards and hopefully help you feel find sleep, calm and relaxation and also to all the subscribers to my channel and all the potential subscribers welcome and once again thank you to all my quiet supporters and vocal supporters and by that i mean vocal supporters are the people who comment and quiet supporters are the people who like the videos and or just maybe view them but both thank you to both types of supporters i appreciate you all and to new subscribers to my channel i hope you enjoy my content and thank you i appreciate having you here we will be doing a somewhat different video. I will be talking about interests and stuff like that in today's video, rather than doing the traditional uh, well, tingles, ASMR type of stuff I often do in MIG videos. I will be doing a MIG video where I talk about interests, but still, I hope you call feel relaxed and what I help you feel good in your day. Okay, let's just get started. I will begin with Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and this is a reference to my interest. It's still, it's a Blu-ray disc still and in its wrappings. <laughs> but but I, have, I, have, I have of course seen the movie, but anyway. This is, uh, this is a reference to my interest for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and to my interest for the multiverse, and Doctor Strange is probably one of my favorite Marvel heroes, so yeah, you know, I love the concept of the multiverse, of infinite realities and stuff, and I don't just mean in the MCU, I mean in general. But I also like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, I have done so for several years, especially after Infinity War and Endgame, because that is like the climax and, and height of the MCU so far, but I know we're building up to a new climax now with, with the coming uh, three, with the coming two or three new Avengers movies, which will come in a few years time, but yeah, no, we're building up to Secret Wars, which is a multiversal war type of thing, I think, yeah, yeah. anyway, but anyway, I, now, uh, I guess I should tell you my opinion about this movie, now, there was some mixed reception to this movie, some really liked it, others didn't, I personally enjoy it, it's not my favorite, it's not, it's not my favorite MCU movie ever, but it's one of the MCU movies I, it's, it's in my top list actually, I really enjoyed it, yeah. and even with the slight horror aspects, I usually don't do horror, but I was okay with it because Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, horror aspects was very, very mild for the most part, with the exception maybe of the rather brutal deaths of the multiversal console by Wanda's hand. But anyway, I really enjoy this. I really, really do. Maybe we can do some rapping sounds. Yeah. And on, on the top here, 
sings songs and, and plays music, you know. Yeah. So I, I really enjoy these types of musical things, you know, the types of music which induce you into this fantasy, mystery type of atmosphere. It's what I enjoy. And you know, but also just outright epic music sometimes. Like music for when you have to save the world and stuff like that. Still in its wrappings because I haven't played it yet. This is Hogwarts Legacy. This game has received great reception and I'm looking forward to playing it as a Harry Potter fan. I have read well, pretty much all the Harry Potter books and, uh, and I have watched all the films all the eight Harry Potter films and, and all the three Fantastic Beasts films. Harry Potter is one of my favorite universes. And of course, I share that with millions of people, I'm pretty sure. And, um, and I look forward to playing Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And it's, and as, as I also like RPG role-playing games, this and this is also Harry Potter. This seems to combine like my two favorite things uh, in games, which is Harry Potter and RPGs. So I think that can be a fun experience. But I have no idea if, if I will enjoy it or not. It will be fun to see. You know, I have also read some of the side stuff of Harry Potter, like the stories of Beetle the Bard. So I have some insight into the Harry Potter universe. It's an enjoyable universe and I hope I continue to expand it, you know, yeah, I really do. And I, and I have also read the manuscript of, you know, what the play, the Harry Potter play, the, yeah, <laughs> you know, that story is set many years after the main story. Yeah. And if I, so, yeah, but I really look forward to playing Hogwarts Legacy, either later this year or next year. I want to show you is Mass Effect 2, which I just recently started playing. Now, I have all the Mass Effect games, but there is only one Mass Effect game which I have the collector's edition of. And what is Mass Effect 2? And this is, uh, I really enjoy the Mass Effect because it's set to this science fiction universe where humanity has joined. Uh, the galaxy and the galactic community in the 21 and it's set in the 2180s i mean the fourth game under meta is set like centuries later in a completely different galaxy in the under media galaxy galaxy either in the 27 tens or the 28 tens and i think it's either in 27 19 or in 28 19 which under meta is it but mass effect 2 is set in 2185 in or uh, galaxy or in or is in or galaxy yeah so yeah in this a really enjoyable story I won't talk much about the story but it's a really enjoyable RPG and game with so much with such an intriguing nice story and with such fun companions and characters to you get to know and love and I love the plot about how how it all builds up to this major galactic war with you know, with, with beings that are about to return and what occurs in Mass Effect 3, but, but uh, Mass Effect 1 sort of establishes the story and when Mass Effect 2 builds up to the war and when Mass Effect 3 is the war and when Mass Effect Andromeda is set, it's, it's a completely different story set like to a completely different place and, and set long, long after the war with new challenges. And now we're going to, but now we're finally going to be making Mass Effect, uh, a proper Mass Effect 4, which is meant to be more of a follow-up to the original trilogy. Yeah. 
I'm sorry if that, I'm sorry for that somewhat clumsy moment, but I want to show you something. It's a Cerberus Network card, and Cerberus is with, uh, well, terrorist organization which the character works with uh, in the game to stop the abductions of humans. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, yeah, they are not exactly an established group in the galaxy, but what I mean, they are not accepted by the establishment of the galaxy because they are considered extremists, but, but Shepard, uh, but Shepard agrees to work with them just to stop the abductions of human colonists, but we are definitely a controversial group within the galaxy of the Mass Effect saga. But it's leader the elusive man is voiced by Martin Sheen, and I really like the elusive man because he really has style, and, and Martin Sheen is a great actor and voice actor. So, yeah. so this is a Cerberus activation card. Now, uh, here is another, you can see. Man. 